<laughs> Hello, welcome again to my channel. Now that you're already watching, please click the subscribe button. Remember the pillowcase that we transformed into a wrap top in the previous video? Well, it was just the front part of the pillowcase and we still have more fabric left. Today, we will be making another summer top out of it. This DIY is easy to make because it is as simple as assembling four rectangles. I set aside the back part of the pillowcase in the last DIY, so now I will be using it in today's thrift flip transformation. The pillowcase has an envelope closure at the back, which means there are two panels of fabric that overlap. To make this project easier, we will divide the process in three parts. First part, I made the bodies by using the smaller panel of the pillow backing. First step, I folded the fabric to create a rectangle. To make the cutting easier, I ironed the folded part, then I just cut along the crease. If this is your first time on my channel, I want to let you know that I am not a pro in sewing. So please bear with me if this DIY is a little confusing and comment down below to help me improve the things I am doing. Moving on, we now have two rectangles that measure 62 by 27 centimeters. Second step is cut an armpit hole. To do this, I lay the two fabrics on top of each other, then folded them. I get an existing ruffle top and traced its armpit hole on the fabric that we're working on. Instead of a curve, I just drew a straight line. Then I measured them as I will be using the same dimensions for the sleeves. Pin, then cut. Third step, attach an elastic band. But first, I created a casing or tunnel for the elastic by folding the fabric twice. Pin, then sew. Do the same step to the bottom hem of the bodies. The elastic band I am using is 3mm width which I bought for 249 pesos per roll. Insert the elastic through the fabric using a small safety pin. Another method is using a hair pin and a thread. My chest measurement is 70 cm, I divided it by 2, then minus 10 cm. So I cut the elastic band into 25 cm and shear the fabric evenly. Sew the ends of each elastic. Second part, I made the sleeves by using the bigger panel of the pillow backing. First step, I folded the fabric like this. Cut one side of the fold. Second step, I cut an armpit hole using the same measurements we had from the bodies. pin, then cut. Third step, same as the bodies, is attaching the elastic band. I folded the fabric twice to create a casing or tunnel for the elastic band, then sew. How 
However, at the bottom of the sleeve, I just finished the edges by sewing the hems neatly. From the hems, I measured 5 cm, then drew a line across the fabric. I folded the fabric, then sew 1 cm away from the fold. Because of this, I'm getting an idea to vlog about operating my mini sewing machine and some basic troubleshooting. And we're good! Next, press the fold, then sew again. Insert the elastic band through the casings. My measurement around the armpit area is 30 cm, then minus 5 cm. So I cut the elastic band into 25 cm. For the armhole near the elbow, it measures 23 cm minus 5 cm. So I cut the elastic band into 18 cm. I gather the fabric and the elastic, then shear them evenly. Sew the ends of each elastic too. Part 3. Connect the bodies and sleeves. I don't have a serger, so to close the side seams of the bodies neatly, I sew the fabric wrong sides together, then flip the fabric right sides together, then sew again. I always do this technique in my DIY projects. You see, the inner seams are neat. Repeat the same step on the other side. Next, I attach the sleeves to the bodies by connecting them both on the armpit area using the same technique I did for the side seams. Finally, our trendy summer top is done! This puff sleeve top is versatile as it can be worn like this with a square neck or an off shoulder top. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the process. See you next time, so please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching!